So we're coming into side angle here. So you're going to reach out through your right fingertips. Get really long in the right side of your waist. And then place your right elbow on the knee or your right hand inside of the right foot. Your left arm will start by just reaching straight up to the ceiling at first. Now in order to relax the shoulder so it's not jammed up by your neck, we're going to wrap your pinky finger in, soften the shoulder away from your ear, and then reach your arm all the way out over the ear. Yeah, but not the shoulder. The shoulder stays soft away from the neck. That's it. Now in this position, I want you to imagine you could move your right thigh, sucking it back into your hip socket a little deeper, yes, and suck your left hip and thigh into the hip socket a little bit deeper. So you're kind of merging everything towards each other. Then from that space, could you twist your torso open a little deeper? Good. Now I'm going to have you contract this side. Shorten here, scrunch up here, and lengthen here. Yeah, do that again. Contract here, get even shorter. Yes, you feel it? Now move this back towards me even more without puffing this out. Mm-hmm. This moves back. This moves down. Uh-huh, you feel it? Good. Okay, now from this position, we're going to work on coming into Ardha Chandrasana or half moon pose. So re-extend your top arm straight up to the ceiling. Look down to your right foot. You're going to lean the weight into that right foot and lift the left leg up and back into your half moon position. So if you need a block under your right hand, you could use a block or the floor, whatever works for you. 